Off Blaney Road, just north of Highway 94, east of the Springs, that has been contained. Last night I was on scene of a wildfire that broke out just a few miles northeast of it on Curtis Road in Peyton. News 5's Bill Folsom is live on Blaney, Blaney Road with the latest on both fires. Bill. Yeah, we are seeing out here why we're having those red flag warnings after day after day. They're not just warnings, we are actually having fires. This one happened this afternoon. Uh, taken by the wind out here, you're seeing the electric company just leaving. They've been out here checking on the power. Six acres out here burned. They had multiple agencies show up here to knock it down. Ellicott, Falcon, also uh, Cimarron Hills and Black Forest came in here. As you said, this is just a couple miles from the Curtis Road fire that was over that way. Firefighters have had to be on that one all day. It was large enough that it has been hot today and they don't want to see another fire start because we are seeing a trend. A wind-driven grass fire takes out a home. For neighbors, wildfires and evacuations, unfortunately, have become common. Yeah, this is my third time of being evacuated in, in a little over two years. Jerry Latour was ready before the evacuation orders were given. I could only smell it. I couldn't see where it was coming from. It wasn't five minutes later, it was a big bloom of smoke, then I could see it was coming from Curtis. Latour's experience is what emergency managers want everyone to understand about how fast you may have to evacuate when wildfire threatens. Immediately, you should be able to pack up and just go. Pikes Peak Regional Office of Emergency Management Director Jim Reed says having a plan in place brings peace of mind. He's speaking from experience. He lives in this area and was on notice of pre-evacuation. And I got the pre-evac notice. There was no panic. Okay, everybody, we got pre-evac. You got this dog. I got that dog. You've got these things. I've got those things. Are we ready to go? Yep. Preparation also includes mitigation. There is a lot of tall grass on the plains. This time of year, it's mostly dead. With wind, a fire gets dangerous very fast. Absolutely immediately, you should be able to pack up and just go. Cutting back grass, especially away from structures, makes a big difference. Also keep anything flammable, like a wood pile, 30 feet away from your home. Wildfire danger is year round in Colorado, and this year, the concern is heightened. This summer is predicted to be dry. Uh, and warm all year round. So we need to be very cognizant and be very aware. And they're still looking for a cause of this fire, the Curtis Road fire. It gives you an idea, uh, the likely cause of that fire gives you an idea of just what's happening with this wind and how dry it is. It looks like a trailer going by that was doing some hauling, had some sparks coming out from some of the wheels. It caught that fire and that is the result. Nearly 40 acres burned, a house gone. Extreme caution is needed right now because it is so dry and the wind is going to continue. In El Paso County, Bill Folsom, News 5. Bill